Dictionary. Noun. A book, document, or database containing a list of words and associated information, usually in alphabetical order. History and etymology. Derived from the Latin word dictionarius, meaning word book or collection of phrases. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the word dictionarius was first used in the English language as the title of a textbook on Latin composition by a teacher named John of Garland in the 13th century. In the 16th century, early dictionaries began appearing containing lists of words and their translations into other languages or dialects. Initially, these dictionaries were English to Latin and later into more modern languages. In the 17th century, the word dictionary was applied to books that contained lists of hard words and their explanations. The earliest printed dictionary of hard words was Robert Codre's Table Alphabetical in 1604. In 1755, Samuel Johnson published the first comprehensive dictionary of the English language. Descriptivism versus Prescriptivism when Samuel Johnson set out on his quest to create an authoritative dictionary of the English language, he made the mistake many, many people do these days. Samuel Johnson was trying to prescribe the English language, trying to set it in stone and control what words meant. This is what we call prescriptivism. By the end of the eight-year process of writing his dictionary, Johnson had changed his mind. The meanings of words couldn't always be nailed down. He changed his focus from prescribing what the English language was to describing it. He described trying to chase perfection as trying to chase the sun. You make it to the hill where the sun had set, and you still beheld the sun at the same distance away as it was before. That's what it's like trying to nail down what a word means. They change over time. So he was trying to describe what the language was at the time he was writing the dictionary. It was like a snapshot of what English looks like when he was writing. This is what we call descriptivism. And that's what I want to do here with my video dictionary. I want to explore how language is being used today, how different words are being used. Sometimes I'll cover more mundane words like beach or like the days of the week, for example because I just find the histories of those words interesting, and I want to explore that as well. But other times, I want to cover more controversial words, words that have a more contested meaning, like liberal, conservative, fascist, capitalism, socialism, communism, political words. At the beginning of each entry, I'll state the word and what kind of word it is, and I'll provide a definition that I've personally written based on research, other dictionaries, and how I feel the word is being used now. And because I primarily want this to be an educational tool and not just for my personal commentary on news and politics and social events and words in general, the next section in my videos will be a history and etymology of the words, where they came from, what they mean, how the word has changed throughout history, because that's really what I love. And the last section of my video I'm going to call my prescription, my prescriptivism. That'll be my personal opinion on how the word should be used, how it should be defined, and if it comes across in an argument or a conversation, how it really should be interpreted or how it could be defined between the different parties. With all that said, keep in mind I am a layman. I've never been to school for any of this. I've listened to a bunch of great courses series on languages, and I've tried to read a lot about it, mostly English, so this is going to be a growing and learning experience for me as well. I may end up updating words because words do change their meaning over time, and I might learn differently what a word means. The most important resource for this project is the internet itself. Watching how people use words on social media and YouTube and podcasts and trying to determine how they're using the words. But some of the other main resources are just other dictionaries. In the great tradition of many lexicographers before me, I'm going to use the resources that already exist. Those would include Dictionary.com, Merriam-Webster, Cambridge Dictionary, um, and Google, of course. They've got their own dictionary now. 
And let's not forget everybody's favorite source of information that may or may not be correct, wikis. I'll be using a combination of both Wikipedia and Wiktionary, but I'll try and do my best to verify any information I get from those sources with other more reliable materials. One of the funnest resources I've found writing some of these scripts has been the Urban Dictionary. The funniest stuff on there. Though a lot of the material may not make it into my show due to the nature of that content not always being the most appropriate. But my favorite resource so far that I've found is the Oxford English Dictionary. This resource is massive. The entry for the word dictionary alone is like three pages long. But the OED, the Oxford English Dictionary, isn't widely available to the public. But I did discover that if you have a library card, some libraries offer access to the OED as an online resource. And I jumped at the chance to renew my library card just for that. I'll have a lot of links to these resources in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration of the word dictionary and my explanation of what I'm trying to do here on this channel. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like what you saw or you think this might be interesting, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. My name is Benjamin Lewis and thank you for watching.